Hello all. Today I'll be talking about one way to create macro variables which is percentage let. So percentage let help us to create a local or a global macro variable. I will tell you what is a local macro variable and a global macro variable. So what is the general syntax for percentage let? Percentage let macro variable name is equal to value semicolon. ये general syntax. Now if I talk about your scope of macro variables, so that is the scope of macro variable is either local or global. Okay, so first I'll talk about local. So local means if your macro variable is defined within the macro code, if it is defined within the macro code, and that macro variable can be used only within that macro. What does it mean? So over here you can see I have one syntax. So percentage, as you know, your macro code will start with percentage macro and then macro name and ends with percentage meant macro name. So if you write between these two percentage macro macro name and percentage meant macro name, if you write in between the this, that will be known as local. Okay, that will be known as local. That means for let's say for our now copy. Yeah. So over here, can you see percentage let macro variable which is d1 is equal to 500, and percentage let d2 which is a macro variable is equal to 250. So you can see it is defined within the macro right now. Hence, this will be called as local, and it can be used only for this code. Only for this code, I'll be able to use it. Now, what is global then? in global in this macro variable will be defined outside the macro code can be used for multiple macro statement and will be removed once the session end okay what does it mean now i'll just remove it okay now you see i have defined them outside the macro can you see your macro is starting here this macro macro name and end uh, macro name now you can see this percentage let macro variable is outside that that means i can use d1 macro variable and d2 macro variable for multiple i can use it for multiple codes macro codes so like this we i can have multiple codes but this macro variable which i have created will get deleted once your session end once you uh, sign out from this session it will be removed so that is the difference between your local and global so as you can see percentage let is helping you to create a local or global macro variable now let's say now you can see percentage let d1 is equal to 500 percentage let d2 is equal to 250 now what i have done is can you see it is defined outside the macro macro is starting here macro code is starting here so this is a global macro variable now how did i use them see i have defined them in sum as ambassand d1 dot plus ambassand d2 dot so in macros your make uh, macro variables need to start with ambassand and end with dot this is how you define a macro variable and then run semicolon and here i have ended the code so i will just run it okay so there is no problems at all now i will see what is the value So you can see I got some 750. So 500 plus 250 is 750. So you can see the global macro variable is working. Now let's talk about only percentage let. Now in, uh, as you must be aware that macro is having only one data type that is character data type. So over here can you see percentage let macro variable which is p1 is equal to blr but it is in quotation. Okay. P2 is having Mysore with Y and S as caps. P3 is equal to 10 plus 10. So you might be confused. What will be the output? Now to see what your macro variables are holding in the log, you should use percentage put and define your macro variables. That is what I have done here. Now in this, we need to know: Is it gonna be 20 here? my suru here and without quotation blr no that will happen in sas but as you know here it is only character type so your output of these three macro variable will be as it is so i will just run it to show it to you
now you can see over here your percentage put after that you got this what is it you can see blr is still in quotation my suru is as it is and 10 plus 10 is not appearing as 20 it is appearing as 10 plus 10 only why because it is a character type okay so that you need to be aware in sas you have two data types right character and numeric but in macros we have only character type so in interview they can be asking you only one or two question from this because percentage let is one of the ways to create macro variable so you have to answer it second what is the scope of macro variable that time you need to answer is it a local variable or a global variable okay and percentage let is the one which helps you to create a local or mac, uh, global macro variable so those two are your interview questions so thank you all and uh, please subscribe to my channel for future updates and for more classes regarding SAS.